Hi guys, welcome back to this vlog. How on a day? Cora Bidi made a post yesterday revealing that she, an acid was poured on her during a live stream in UK and she was almost stabbed. I'll play the video for you so you see. Now, I'm wondering, why would someone go to that length of pouring an acid on her? Why they too much hate? Why, why they hate? The hate is too much. She, she's already going through a lot. From her marriage to her divorce proceedings, being in charge of her kids... And trying to find herself, her music career, her life. Like, why they, why they too much hate? It's already enough that she's been trolled on social media. So why going to that extent of wanting to pour acid on her and stabbing her? Why would someone want her death? Like, when did the world become that bad? And she said the person was wearing mask like was all masked up a dark lady six feet tall i will i'll drop i'll drop the post for you that she made that's so that that's extreme that's the height of it all remember when Cardi B was on stage on stage performing and she asked her fans to you know spill water on her and they did when she now asked them to stop one other person now started spilling the water on her which caused her to use uh, to throw her mic at the person and every one of us was like seeing Nicki Minaj as being rude or being uh, I don't even know the word to use but she was being defensive and that's actually the 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 best way to follow because if you see i'm like say, okay make a day on my own make a day on my own i don't like wala problem go find you come for your doorstep because why why would this person come to her live stream to pour an acid on her and even try to stab her I know Cora can be a lot, but at least for some time she has been on her lane and she doesn't just come out to come and start making a um, drama or making issues when it's not there. Everybody should be on guard. Yeah, may everybody be on guard and care for out there because the world is becoming too toxic that people want to take away their fellow human. A life that you didn't give, you want to take it away. What for? You hate someone to the extent that you want to hurt them. You want to inflict a pain on them. Like what can she have taken away from this person that will lead to this so much attack? And thank God that she's in UK. Because if, if now for this our Niger, it would have been another story altogether. And I saw her pouring coke on her face. Now yesterday I know say coke, they, they dilute so many things. Now, from that uh, video, I learned that coke can be used to dilute acid. I wish her a uh, safe recovery and hope that she comes out of it safe too. And also, encourage her to, to, to stay safe and out of trouble, at least for the meantime, lie low. Because if the person can come out to this extent to come and showcase whatever it is they have in their mind. Who knows what is their next move? People are just dying anyhow. You know, we never can trace the, the cause of so many influencers' death or popular people. Everyone should be careful out there. Because these people... 
pressing or typing all this hate speech and whatever it is behind their keyboard can go extreme when they come out face to face and if you are seeing my face for the first time and you are yet to subscribe to my channel this is the best time to do that yes now is the best time for you to go and click on that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that whenever i make a post you are going to be notified yes still on the case of john um i say john <laughs> still on the case of junior pope the two other persons that we are yet to be confirmed or their body was yet to be found has been found the makeup artist and the sound engineer and they couldn't take their body home because their parents or their family they are not able to raise the money needed for the ritual so now me i'm asking if their family is unable to raise the money needed for the ritual what's now happen to the producer she now walking go do and this person okay let's just say they've not been paid or half of the money has been paid for them to get a job done so why not use this as a means of showing last respect or something they are unable to make the payments and these individuals have been buried beside the river as well May person no go they find it in the chop, may something come chop up. Going and now coming in is not is not something to take for granted. And the other guy that survived. I think he's feeling too much. Yes. I think he's he's saying too much for He's saying too much for someone that was in the same boat with them. A whole lot of loopholes and things to pinpoint. You know when uh, police will always say that you are under arrest and whatever you say or do now will be used against you in the court of law. I think that guy is saying too much. You can, you can drop your response or your opinion on the comment section. I'll be there to respond to it. Yeah, I think he's saying too much. Because I'll play the video for you so you can so you can listen and see things for yourself or also see it from where me I'm coming from. He said so they say they don't really don't start the job that will be on set tomorrow. I say you are giving me script now. I say I will be on set tomorrow. I won't take read all this thing. They say I beg they go need me tomorrow. I said okay, no problem. Last night she said make I go. Say we will go talk for Wasa. I say no problem, but I beg if through through the, the, the cross water, I know they like cross water. He gets why everybody know where he from come. Before I cross water, they go observe them. My aunt said, no, I said, okay, let me call my, my spiritual mom. I called my spiritual mom. She said, okay, no, see me, I go, say nothing. Say, if I finish, so far, say, if I finish, that's good. Why me supposed to give what other people say, make I still come bring them for them. I said, okay, no problem. He reached the next day where I supposed to start the job. They don't call me throughout that. They are come the verse. Why these people, they don't start this, their package. They will tell you, be on set, they wouldn't call you. So the upper day, I got a call from Ogolo. I said they go need me this morning. That man is so good. You go need me this morning, but your girl never call me. Why had that man look never call me? He said no, T Baba say she go call you. I said, okay, let me come out with trust. I came out. And then look half an hour for phone. Wait till you go pay. He tell me say uh see, see make I talk now. Man, say, see how much why they collect too. Bringing you more details as the story keeps unfolding. Don't forget to like share and subscribe see you on the next video bye